It's a cold winter's night in country New South Wales. 42-year-old horse breeder Howard Tyrrell sits down for dinner. Ah, oh, thanks. Alice, his wife of 12 years, is heading off to her weekly sewing course in nearby Dubbo. I'm off to TAFE now. She's also dropping right. some eggs off to a friend. Okay. See you later. Their two children, aged two and five, are staying with their grandparents. Sometime before 9.30, somebody or something causes Howard to go outside. The dogs don't bark, so whoever's out there is unlikely to be a stranger. Tyrrell is dead before he hits the ground. I don't have any memories of him as such. Only what people have told me, you know, that he was just a really nice guy and yeah, he's an excellent horseman. It must have been hard for you. How old were you? I was two. What's it been like for you since then? What was the hardest thing? Not knowing why someone would do it. Mm what your life would be like. You think about all the things you missed out on? Yeah, because he was into horses and I ride horses and to have a father teach you stuff would be nice. The Tyrrell family moved out of here many years ago, but the farm remains, as does the mystery of who killed Howard Tyrrell and why. You tend to think in cases such as this that the motive is going to be sex or money. And the day after Harold Tyrrell's murder, Dubbo was rife with rumour. Detectives from Sydney and Dubbo were swarming all over the property and well beyond. Retired detective Sergeant Ross Ty investigated the case 36 years ago. So set the scene for me on that night. Where was Howard? Anthony, when we got here, uh, Howard Tyrrell's body was in that vicinity there. Obviously there was a single gunshot through his side and uh, killing him instantly. The autopsy revealed powder burns from the gunshot on Howard's clothing. In my experience, this indicates the gun was fired at very close range, a telling piece of evidence. So do you think this is somebody he knew then? We were of the opinion, yes. It was someone that knew Harold's movements. Uh, he was certainly familiar with the, all the dogs that were here. There's no dogs barked that night. Um, he certainly knew his way around the place and uh, he was familiar with the movements of the family. Apart from the body and the powder burns, there's only one other piece of evidence, footprints across here. That paddock had been freshly cultivated the day before and in that paddock we found fresh tracks walking to the homestead and then on leaving they were running. How did you determine that? By the length of the, the paces. Yeah, big strides, yep. running. 